G'day students, I'm Dr. Price from Classroom Professor. This week I'm going to talk to you about reading a clock. We have two different sorts of clocks. This one, we don't have a nice easy name for it, but it's called an analog clock. And this one, this is a picture of a digital clock. So you may have both sorts of clocks in your home, you may just have one. But it's important that you learn to read the time on both clocks. Now this is a long topic and I'm not going to make this video too long. So I'm just going to talk about some of the times to give you an introduction so that you can uh, move on from there and, and uh, learn as you, as you go on. So let's start with a nice easy time and that will be this one. When the long hand, which is called the minute hand, is pointing at the 12, then that time is something o'clock. Now the word o'clock is a funny sort of word, it really means of the clock, but we never say that anymore, we just say o'clock. And the shorthand points at the number of hours and then it tells us which o'clock it is. So in this case of course it's nine o'clock. Hours are quite long periods of time, especially if you're waiting for something to happen. And we have a certain number of hours during the day and the clock shows us how many hours have passed since the beginning of the day. When is the beginning of the day? Well it happens when you and I are asleep at midnight, the middle of the night or 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. And after that time we measure the number of hours, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Each of those o'clock times is one hour after midnight. So if this is in the morning, 9 o'clock is 9 hours after midnight. Then the next hour of course is 10 o'clock, then 11 o'clock and so on. Now we should say now that when we get to 12 in the middle of the day, called midday or noon, we have 12 o'clock, then we start counting again from 1, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So the day is divided into two halves, a morning half if you like and the afternoon and evening half and they both start with 12 and then after the 12 we're counting the number of hours. Now I've left some of the numbers off the clock. I think it's a good idea for you to learn to read the time even if all the numbers aren't there because some clocks don't have the numbers. But you'll know that this is 1 and 2 4 and 5 and so on. So I'll just fill those in so we get up to the 11. So the short hand shows us how many hours. The other hand, the long hand, you will know if you've watched a clock, goes around much faster than the hour hand and that is the minute hand. Minutes are shorter lengths of time. A minute is how long it might take you to brush your teeth or read a, a, a page in a reading book or go for a short walk or something like that. So it's not a very long period of time and within one hour you will know that there are 60 minutes. So there are lots and lots of minutes. So let's talk a little bit about the digital clock and I'm going to show the same time. The digital clock has just numbers and probably two dots in the middle to show a gap if you like or a difference between the hours. I'm going to write this down here, hours and minutes. So it doesn't have hands, you don't have to work out the positions of the hands and so on, you just read the numbers. So this is the number of hours shown up here by the hour hand, down here it's just a number and of course one hour later it will have 10, then 11, then 12 and then as I said we'll go back to 1 again. And this is the number of minutes. Okay, the minutes will go up to 59 and after 59, the number after 59 is 60, but we never show 60. We always start again from zero because that's the next hour. Okay, so that's how we read a time when it's o'clock. Let's look at another quick example of a different o'clock time. What time would it be if the hands were like that? Well, of course, the hour hand is pointing to the four. We will call that four o'clock and the digital clock will have a four there. So that's quite easy. If the minute hand is pointing at the 12 or if there are two zeros here, then we know it's something o'clock. There are three times that you should learn after you know the o'clock times. And I'm going to show you those and then I will stop this video. So 
The three other times that I'm going to show you are the quarter times. So if I use, let me use another colour. If we look at a clock, an analogue clock, it's divided into four quarters. And when the minute hand moves around through a quarter, we have special times. So let me show a different time here. Here is a time where the minute hand has moved a quarter of the way around the clock. And so we call this a quarter past one of the hours. In this case, it's just come past the 10. Remember, the clock goes this way in this direction. It's just gone past the 10. So this is a quarter past 10. How would we show that on a digital clock? Well, the number of hours, of course, we've had 10 hours and then we've had how many minutes? A quarter of an hour, a quarter of 60 is 15 minutes. And so we might call this time 10.15 or a quarter past 10. Let's move to the next quarter time. And that's when the hand is pointing straight down to the six. We'll move the hour hand on a little bit further like that. When the minute hand points at the six, how far around the clock has it traveled? It's traveled halfway around. I don't have room to write it here, so I'll write it over this side. Half past. Half past means half an hour has passed since the last o'clock time. So the 10 o'clock has gone. We're halfway up to 11. And so this is called 10.30 or half past 10. One more and then we'll stop. Now we move to the third quarter where the minute hand is pointing at the nine. And you will no doubt know that this is called a quarter two. A quarter two. So the minutes have ticked away and it's gone three quarters of the way around the clock. Now, this one is a little bit tricky. I'll deal with the digital clock first. How many minutes would that be? If that's zero minutes and there's 15 and there's 30, this will be another 15 after 30 or 45. So this is 1045 on a digital clock or a quarter two, but it's not a quarter to 10, is it? Because we've gone past 10. This is going past 10, half past 10. On this side, as the minute hand comes up this way, we say it's something to the next hour, the next o'clock time. This hour hand has moved. It's getting closer to the 11. The next hour is 11. So this particular time will be a quarter to 11. So those are the four main times that you need to recognize the o'clock time the quarter past, the half past, and then the quarter to the next hour. And on the digital clock, the minutes will show zero, zero, or 15, or 30, or 45. That's all I've got time for in this video. I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more about reading the clock, you'll be able to find other help on the internet, look at other videos, or you can ask an adult or an older, older person who can help you with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time.